Hello there and welcome back to another review. So here we go again for another classic Shaw Brothers movie. Um, I'm pre reviewing this uh, from this Shaw Brothers Volume 2 box set by Arrow Video. Film that I had uh, back on the Made in Hong Kong label back in the day on VHS in the 90s. Um, largely reviewing this because when I was doing, like, you remember I was doing the 36th Chambers of Shaolin, like the trilogy of that, and I was talking about Disciples of the 36th Chamber, the third movie of Sel Ho. And I did mention that review, it just got me thinking about Mad Monkey Kung Fu. And this, as I mentioned in that review, this is one of my favourites. I've always loved this movie. Um, it's a great, great Kung Fu movie. Um, probably one of my favourites from Lil Ka Lung, uh, along with Dirty Ho. Um, and what I sort of like, like, I always link them two films in a way, because in both films it's very much you have two leads, and it's almost like a sort of a buddy film or a shared uh, film. Mad Monkey sort of a buddy film, Dirty Ho is a sort of of a buddy film um and it like i say this film you've got to check this film out it really is um a wonderful wonderful uh, kung fu movie i'd say directed by Liu kao lung uh, the always talented sell ho here and if you want your villain you can never go wrong with low lay as well for good measure now i know i say this a lot but this was another one that just really was when i you know talk about kung fu movies i watched back in the day uh, mad monkey kung fu was very high it got a lot of uh, viewings from me i've wa probably watched the crap out of my uh, video VHS that I had um, and just absolutely loved it absolutely loved it um, it's in dubbed uh, when I had it and that could be why I love this film so much probably that probably this and like the title alone mad monkey kung fu and probably that as well as watching the TV show Monkey a lot, <laughs> probably had something to do with it. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of monkey vibes going on. Um, I, did, I think that all added into me like in this one. So made back in 1979, a lot of people sort of compare this film uh, with the Samo Hung and Yuen Bu vehicle Knockabout, which I've reviewed previously ages and ages and ages ago. Amazing movie, great Samo Hung Yuen uh, Yun Bu movie. But this film is uh, from like in the Kung Fu world, if you're a Hong Kong film fan, the, these two films are off and sort of compared um sort of like as i say put as you know as well as knock, like knock about um you know which uh, the idea you get the director as the master and their favorite lead is the protagonist like with knock about you had that with samo and yun Bu. and they're both not well like knock about in this movie they they sort of had the monkey theme running through it too um whereas knock about was a lot more light-hearted in tone this film mad monkey feels a lot more personal and then that look how long does seem to be taking this film quite seriously and giving the audience not only their share of action and kung fu but to deliver like a narrative as well and a revenge story that holds the audience's attention this film definitely is not sort of laugh out loud laugh a minute uh, kind of movie it's not like a return to the 36th chamber it's not that light hearted there are funny moments in the film but there is actually a plot here there is actually a plot uh, uh, plot is plot driven uh, kung fu movie um it's still as i say it, it, it not you still get the action um but you get a revenge story that holds the audience's attention the film is definitely not as laugh out loud funny as knockabout but it still competes with it in terms of what it's trying to deliver and what it's trying to do the reason why i allow often like i've mentioned before considered like cast well sell ho was because like yun Bu, there was nothing he couldn't do basically uh sell ho like yun Bu apparently was even then like back to the opera days was very gifted very talented right away could do anything just with these and i think there's a lot to do like said the, that with sell ho here as well like any flip punch kick that lil Ka Lung wanted sell ho could do no problem at all he could um you know no matter what it was he could do it not only was hell so oh, to do but he also just made it you know look so so damn effortless i mean the film is easily in my top five Liu Ka Lung films, probably because I said the film is really ambitious and it feels fresh. Like with a lot of his films, this isn't your standard 90 minute day at the office for a Kung Fu movie. This film is around 110 minutes long. Um, and that's what's great about Liu Ka Lung. When he doesn't want to rush, he doesn't rush. Like at Face It's Chamber, pushing like two hours. Um, standard Kung Fu movie, around 90 minutes. Here, this one, you're looking at 110 minutes. So it means like... It's not just one of these movies where the kung fu movies where it is just sort of let's just have a simple you killed my master plot or anything like that here. 
very much a story to be told, which is, I think is a testament to Lord Carl Lung as well. Like I say, he had a story to tell, and to that alone makes Mad Monkey a fantastic film, along with the performances and the fight scenes and everything else. And not only that, the title as well. The title of the film is awesome in itself, Mad Monkey Kung Fu. It's not just Monkey Kung Fu. After that, there's a film called Monkey Kung Fu, but Mad Monkey Kung Fu, you've got to check it out. So we meet Lo Lei, play, uh, playing Mr. Juan, who is watching this opera and fancies the leading lady, play, played by the ever-dependable Kara Hoy, and Lil Ka Lung, also in the opera, plays uh, Chen, her brother. So Juan invites them both to dinner. Obviously, with all, he's got an ulterior motives. It's Lo Lei. He's, all, he's always up to no good, apart, aside from like King Boxer, where he's a good guy, but Lo Lei, he's always the, he's always the villain, and he's always fantastic doing it. But obviously, he's, uh, he's got ulterior motives, and his sinister planning like, you know, is going on. They go along and she really doesn't want him, like, she doesn't want, like, Lil Kalu and her brother to get drunk. He even goes so far as to promise her that he won't. Chen starts showing off his Kung Fu, which Juan sort of calls him, calls him out on a few things. So as this goes, Chen is getting absolutely hammered, right? Lil Kalu Lung, his character, he's getting absolutely trashed. He's drinking and drinking and drinking, despite promising his sister that he wouldn't. And you have to have to love lines from Mr. Juan uh, to his supposed wife saying, take Miss Chen to your room and discuss girly things. That's, you know, that's what he said. I mean, what are girly things, you may ask? Well, I, you know, we never find out. I mean, right away watching Lil Ka Lung perform, he has so much energy, and the fact he placed himself in this is sort of a, you know, sort of a semi-leading role, proves how interested and passionate he was about this project, and proves he was very much on board with this film. He wanted to get himself in front of the camera. He wanted to work with Selho. He wanted to be on screen with Selho. And, uh, and it really does um, work and pays off. I mean, even that opening Kung Fu demonstration he does, Juan, really shows off his energy um sort of you know goes off the scales and so the, the basically the whole premise is to get he wants to get him drunk and then make it seem like he has slept with juan's wife basically they just want to frame him they want to set him up and obviously he has he hasn't as always it's, it's going to be a sad juan at first wants to drown him um but miss jen gets agrees to be because he sort of wakes up he's passed out he wakes up sort of next to uh, uh, Lole's wife and it's just a, like he accuses him of something he didn't even do and at first like he's like right he's got to be punished I might drown him um he not that doesn't happen but Miss Chen his sister agrees to be like his concubine right this because he's basically Lole just have the hots for it this is his whole plan all along he just wants to get her in his hands basically um, basically, she agrees to be at his bidding instead, but Juan's sister, he cripples Chen's hands as well. I mean, the whole opening of this movie is like around, it's around 20 minutes. Um, just the setup, just the setup alone to this movie and for the plot that follows. You're talking around 20 minutes. And now that, like I say, that's, he's taking his time, look how long with this. He is really, really taking, it's not like a quick five minutes, let's do the setup and the film begins. No, here, look how long takes his time and gives you literally 20 minutes opening his setup to a film that follows. We catch up with him sometime later with Chen and he is working as a street performer with this monkey and wouldn't you know it, it as a kung fu movie is hassled by some thugs. As usual, if they're street performers in any way, any time you're in, if you're in the market or in the streets or you're a, a vendor salesman or a yacht shop, anything, you, you're going to have a bad time in these movies because if any time you're doing any form of retail or entertainment or whatever it be, in a kung fu movie by kung fu movie law, you're going to get a bad time. And that, lo and behold, that's what happens here. So he gets hassled by some thugs. Then we meet Sal Ho's character who is simply called Monkey, who goes to teach them a lesson involving some crabs. And he is like a thief and a rascal with, with like a heart of gold, basically. Um, and Sal Ho just puts in a great performance here as Monkey. Really, really great stuff. Um, good intentions he's righteous and that kind of thing Jen has given up drink Chen has given up drinking an opera and is basically ashamed of what happened before and how he got drunk and let this happen to his sister monkey gets some money off these gangsters who are collecting money from street performers and treats him and Chen to a meal and they become friends as monkey thought it was unfair what happened to him and that's what I like about this movie as well the fact that these two sort of get drawn together like they get pulled together like Lil Ka Lung's like uh, Selho sort of sticks up for him um, and that they sort of just start to warm to each other and that's a very nice thing about the movie they're like they're you know monkey and chen sort of friendship though you can like i say you can see he's you know sort of still ashamed of as when not like monkey offers him some wine and mentions women chen gets super mad and angry um 
um, you know, because, like remembering what's happened before, um, you know, and uh, he just doesn't want to drink. He's just, he keeps going over in his mind what has happened before. It is like, as I say, as a Kung Fu master, he should have known better, you know, is what the funny thing is. As a Kung Fu guy, as a Kung Fu practitioner, he should have known better than to get drink and to get carried, get drunk and to get carried away. So Monkey goes to steal money again and gets caught. The thugs start on Chen and quite brutal. They actually smash his monkey to death as well uh, on a tree branch, which is a bit, a bit unnecessary. So after the monkey's demise, the human named Monkey decides to become his street performer. Like, Selho agrees to become his street performer for him to replace Chen's pet. The character is really going out of his way to help and be there for Master Chen. Like I say, it's got a sweet notion running through it, this film. And that is what I like about it. As I say, it's pretty much a buddy flick. Um, and that's what is so awesome about this. So all is going well. And then these pesky goons come along yet again and demand more money. As I say, never, ever, ever work in the markets. In a kung fu, if, you're ever, if you ever find yourself in a kung fu movie, never be one of the salesmen because it's going to end bad. So come along, yeah, they might want more money. After this, monkeys, monkeys quit as he wants to teach them a lesson, thinks it's just unjust what they are getting away with. After getting beaten up, Chen agrees to take Monkey to the mountains, basically to train. Starts with like tying stones to his hand as his fingers must be strong. Even goes so far that he has to sleep on two thin ropes like a monkey as well. Look at Selho's arms and leg strengths too when he's sort of doing gymnastics and sort of pirouetting on these vines. Uh, incredible strength and uh, just wonderful stuff. Um, starts teaching him somersaults and handstands and the foundations of monkey kung fu. It is quite deep this film as you can argue that his monkey was given Chen hope and purpose and a reason to keep on fighting. And that's what I say with this film um the plot isn't throwaway by any numbers like many many kung fu movies are um but mad monkey kung fu there is a real effort here there's a real effort being made yes it's a bit predictable yes it follows certain kung fu movie traits and things like this but you know it the way he's like the the idea of this character giving somebody who's sort of fallen from grace the like it's bit of hope and a bit of light at the end of the tunnel is something that really does sort of stand out um for monkey kung fu and like giving chen a reason to keep on fighting and carry on so the thing is monkey gets cocky after his training believes like he's good enough already right he thinks he's much better now i can fight him i'm good chen knows his training isn't complete but he lets monkey go down from the mountain anyway so he can try out his newly learned skills so Monkey humiliates the guys in the market with Monkey Fist, and of course it is super. Sla it's a slapstick scene. You've, there's always sort of a, you know, like some scenes in even in uh, some movies. Well, uh, certain movies like you have fight scenes that some fight scenes are done just for comedy value. Other scenes are a bit more brutal and full on. This scene here, when he goes to the market, is mainly just say slapstick and played for giggles with Monkey just ridiculing them and embarrassing them. So we catch up with Juan, who's now supporting a very cool looking mustache. And this guy, Kai, has been running things for him, who just so happens to be the boss of the guys in the market who are hassling Chen and Monkey. Isn't it funny how these things work out sometimes in these kung fu movies? It just so happens the guy that's ha the men that are hassling him are the men of a guy who's working for the guy who crippled Chen's hands and took his sister. Funny how these, like I say, these things work out. So after beating up the guys, Monkey wants them to take them to the boss so he can teach them a lesson too. And I love the how he arrives through the door with them sort of carrying him. Like when he says, I want you to take me there, he literally, literally they do take him there. Uh, it's not like they, he just follows off and walk in. He, they are literally carrying him as he walks in the door. So he confronts Kai about ruining the merchants. Again, just watch Ho's energy here. He's just relentless, just his whole being from Kung Fu, the way he acts, his mannerisms, just so much enthusiasm all the time. Wonderful performer. Juan eventually overpowers Monkey and wants to know who his master is as he's practicing Monkey Kung Fu. Like, because Juan hates Monkey Kung Fu for some reason. He's like, he's, he just doesn't want anybody to know Kung Fu. Um, so... Monkey escapes, and it's only after all this time at this moment that Kara Hoy, Hoy actually overhears what Juan's plans was, as he's talking, and that was to get her working in the brothel. So after all this time, you've never, she's never once heard Juan over talking, but at this point in the story, now she does. Like now she knows his real alternative and his real motive. Like not any time before, bear in mind, like years have passed. No, she's she finds out just right now. Um, after losing Chen's hat in the ruckus, Monkey returns to get it back, and Miss Chen sort of aids him, who proceeds to basically, she, Kara Hoy dies, she basically falls to her death at uh, one point in the movie, and Monkey escapes again. 
Mikey informs Chen that he saw his sister and the two begin to finish off their training. I mean, I could watch Lu Ka Lung and Sao Ho training in this movie all day long. You know, like I said uh, way back in my knockabout movie when Summer Hung and uh, Yun Bu were training together, them training scenes could have gone on for like an hour long. And it's very much the same here. I could easily watch Lu Ka Lung and Sao Ho train for hours at a time. And the training scenes in Mad Monkey are very entertaining really fun stuff probably don't go on as half as long as what they should do but you there's still a lot of fun to be had there anyway it's just so damn entertaining i love the four moves in one palm technique that he gets into do i mean just lightning fast choreography and fighting between the two as well so monkey goes to the brothel now fully trained he's ready he's accomplished he's mastered the monkey kung fu he's he's ready now he's ready to take him on he says he and he goes in and he says he wants men Right, he says he wants men, so they think he wants men, and the people in Charles think he actually is gay at first. But all the men he gives him, he begins to like subtly like knock out one by one. Uh, Juan tells monkeys uh, like uh, like uh, that Kara Hoy is dead, as he left it, like left before he found about Miss Chen being killed. Um, um, and uh, I mean, when this fight gets going, it's just crazy stuff. It really is crazy stuff. So like, Chen realizes what's happened, but when it really does get, it's it's it is you know this is mad. <laughs> you know this is mad monkey kung fu. It's crazy stuff. Like I say, hence the title. You have Ho flipping, he's jumping, doing absolutely everything in his power. And like they say, the the villains they've got nets and they're trying to get him sort of like I say, just in his nets. So anything they can do to sort of stop him. But he's going crazy. He's flipping somersaults. You name it. Um, he, it's like he does, he does like this one take series of, like, of backflips and flips and he's trying to dodge his attackers and it has to be seen to be believed it's all in one shot and they're sort of like doing the nets trying to catch him and he's just flipping doing oh just incredible if you see the bit you know what I'm talking about but it's, they've sort of got him boxed in and he just does this insane amount of flips to get out of it. incredible stuff you get Sal Ho probably at his best here. This is probably one of these people like it's one of these films. If you're not aware of who Sal Ho is, or like like if you've never seen him in many movies, or you're not familiar with who Sal Ho is, watch Mad Monkey Kung Fu, and you'll you'll see why he was such you know such a gifted gifted Kung Fu star. Um, just incredible. Then Master Chen turns up for the showdown to Wade Monkey. Great fights in here, and what an ending to the movie. Ends with Monkey defeating Juan as Chen's hands get injured during the fight. Monkey even goes so far as to flip off the second floor with him to finish him off. Uh, Juan and the film ends like having seek their vengeance while two friends walking out. Um, but yeah, Kara Hoy, she, she, unfortunately, she does get killed, which I thought was a bit of a sad. I was hoping there would be sort of, um, he would sort of be able to save her, um, sort of, be, you know, be able to sort of rescue his sister, but she sort of dies in the process as well. Um, but it's a, it's a real great, um, like the two, between the two, they really do team up. And when I say this is a buddy flick, this is a buddy flick in many ways, because it's like, well, let's team up to bring down that bad guy. And that's exactly what they do. Um, but what a blast. Uh, Lil Cullen really taking effort this time, and much like he did with Fertis's training, to me, it is a must see. Um, but just please go and check it out. And as for old school kung fu movies as for old school kung fu movies this is one i think you definitely must see especially one uh, from the shaw brothers movies catalog but just watch it for just a great film with great narrative and sell hose just a terrific uh, terrific monkey kung fu and just watch him for what such a gifted performer um, he is so thank you very much indeed for watching hope you enjoyed the review and i'll see you again soon Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory.